Good day and welcome to the Orgsburg Area Free Public Library. Today I'm going to read The Pig Who Ran a Red Light by Paul Brent Johnson. This is book is dedicated for those who have sometimes wished to be somebody else. Ever since Gertrude had taken up flying, there had been no, no living with George. There's Gertrude up there flying. Whee! Came a sudden high squeal. Miss Rosemary made it to the kitchen door in time to see her pig take a run and go off the edge of the porch. Foom! Miss Rosemary shook her head. Honestly, George, just because Gertrude is, silly, is a silly nincompoop doesn't mean you have to be one, too. It's a known fact that pigs, pigs do not fly. Now look at what you've done to my peonies. George, however, was not about to listen to reason. The minute Gertrude fired up the old farm tractor, he climbed behind the wheels of Miss Rosemary's pickup. Silly. Ah, here's the magic page. George smashed through the kitchen coop, squished over the pumpkin patch, bounced across the creek, and chugged off down US 80 on the wrong side of the road. Heaven help us all, Miss Rosemary cried as she ran to the phone and called the sheriff. This is an emergency, she said. My pig is driving on the wrong side of the road. Not that her pig is driving, that he's driving on the wrong side of the road. Now don't you worry, thing man, said the sheriff. We'll take care of the situation. But when he hung up, he lifted his eyebrows and tapped his head. Lady said her pig is driving on the wrong side of the road. Ha, ha, ha. However, it wasn't long until the sheriff saw George with his own eyes. Driving a car. He had to give a George a ticket for running a red light and driving without a license. He then called Miss Rosemary to come get her pig. What, I'm going, what am I going to do with you, George? Miss Rosemary scolded. It is known fact that pigs don't drive. Why do you have to act like Gertrude? Why can't you just be yourself? When George and Miss Rosemary got home, Gertrude was practicing the piano. George joined in. George, are you going to send me to the loony bin, Miss Rosemary shouted above the noise. There is no doubt about it. Something had to be done. Miss Rosemary had a long talk with Gertrude, just the two of them. The following day at lunch, Miss Rosemary rang the bell. Clang, clang, clang. Who wants a big slice of apple pie, she called out. Gertrude came running. George was close behind. Oink, oink, said Gertrude. George stopped dead in his tracks. He cocked his head and looked at Gertrude. After lunch, Gertrude went to the barnyard. She stuck her nose into the ground and began rooting and snorting. She even managed to curl her tail. Oink, oink, she said again. George was speechless. Later that afternoon, Miss Rosemary hooked up the garden hose and made a huge pick of yucky, mucky, black, stinky mud. Anyone for a wallow, Miss Rosemary asked. Gertrude jumped in, cursed splat into the yucky, mucky pit. She rolled over and over. She tossed globs of mud into the air. Oink, oink, squealed Gertrude, pretending to be in hog heaven. And there's George just looking on, on what's going on here. Suddenly, George, George screamed like a fire engine. Whee! And into the pit he went. To the icky, icky mud. Miss Rosemary sighed thankfully. At last her pig was behaving like a pig. Cows are cows and pigs are pigs, said Miss Rosemary. And that's a known fact. Oink, oink, said George. Oink, oink, said Gertrude. Oink, oink, said Magnolia. And that is the story of the pig who ran a red light. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great day.